Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you've seen in our last video, we did a couple repairs on the Nocto Folding Ox. We changed the throttle and we changed the display. We did have a problem with the throttle, that's why we changed it. And the display flickered a little bit at the wiring, but they sent us another one anyway, so we figured we'd change that. But we also wanted to show you guys how to change the controller if you needed to. Now this one doesn't necessarily have a problem, but we want to show you how to do it. And it works about the same way on most bikes. They're all going to have a controller, which is like the brain of the bike. So it tells everything else what to do. So we want to show you guys how to change that. It is pretty much plug and play for the most part. Uh, you got to chase some wires and things like that. And then uh, we got to access it wherever it is on the bike. Ours happens to be here in the bottom, right below the battery. So we just got four screws we're going to take out. Then we'll have access to that controller. And then when we change the controller, we're just going to unplug one wire at a time. We don't want to get jumbled with all the wires. We're going to unplug one, plug one into the new one, and so forth and so on, as until we get it all done. And then we'll make sure all our wires are routed so it looks neat. And then we'll give it another test. Make sure you did your job right. It'll look good. So for the ease of this, since it's way down there, we're going to try to set it up on this table and do it so we can get a better shot for you guys. So with that being said, let me get this up on the table. All right, guys, we got it up here on the table. It just makes it a little easier for us to work on. We don't have a bike holder yet. But the first thing you want to do when you're doing any job like this is you're going to want to take the battery out of the bike. You don't want any of that current running through anything as you're unplugging and stuff and everything like that. So on this bike, it's got the neat little button in the back to flip the seat up. You want to make sure your key on this one is all the way off. There's an off position. You'll know because it'll come out. Otherwise, it'll be locked in. Then we're just going to pull the battery out, set that to the side. The next thing you want to do is up here on your display, you're going to want to press and hold the power button just to drain any extra power it might have in that it's holding. This one don't, we're good there. So now we can go on to our bottom piece and we're going to start taking this cover off. Like I said, we have four screws on ours. We'll continue taking these out. Like with a lot of these bikes, the, the controller, it's, there's not much room in there for it. So it fits in there tight. You can see that's how it sits in there. Take note of that because you might have to put it back in that way exactly. As I was saying, you, you might have to put it back in there exactly how it's going to go in. So we're just going to pull this out and you'll see <clears throat> excuse me, the amount of wires there are right there. It looks overwhelming sometimes, but like I said, let me get our new unit. We'll show you. All right, as you can see, we got our new unit right here. <clears throat> what we're going to do on each one of these is we're going to pull each wire and we're going to plug that wire in. So that way we're not confused on any of them. This is the one you're going to have to feed out. It comes through the hole in the bottom and you'll feed it in the direction it goes. Like this one will probably goes back to the motor, the thicker one. So that's what we're going to do one at a time. All right, here we go. This is where we're going to start. We we're noticing too and we're looking the, the big the big wire you see goes down here and it goes up into the frame. What's cool about this bike, it's a folding bike. So we could undo the, unfold it a little bit to get to the wire that goes up through the frame. It'll make it easier for us. And by the length of it, it looks like it's gonna plug in somewhere in the frame most likely. So we'll be able to chase that out of there once we get the rest of these. So we're gonna leave that one till last. We're gonna do all these other ones. Get them like organized here. Okay, the first one we got right next to the, that one is this black one. We're going to undo that, and then we're going to plug it in here. There we go. So that's one of them done. Don't get confused which one you're doing. So if you need to, put a mark on it so you know. Uh, we know ours bottom of our new one has a little scrape there, so we know that that's the one we're working with right now. Now we're gonna, next we're going to go to this red one. That red's going to the red inside. So we're just going to grab the red one off of that one. And they do have the bullet connectors. So that's that one right there. Okay, see this goes in pretty much, that's exactly what we're doing. Then you have the red, green, and black. Sorry for the band-aid, y'all. Ow, that hurts. And we're gonna undo that one. But the red, green, and black on your controller is yellow, red, and blue on your bike. So <laughs> those colors don't match. So don't think that's how it's gonna work every time. Let's get to this one. And these plugs should only plug in one way, so you know you'll have it right. <clears throat> Next we have 
the shorter black one right here you can see it around the new one we're gonna unplug that right here and this here is that one appears to be which way does that one go y'all actually that is the one in the frame so we might be we might be good so that other one probably one that goes to the motor so what you want to do on these you'll see the arrows you get a close-up of that you'll see the arrow there you want to line it up with the arrow on the other one and just plug that in all right now we're down to our last one you can see which is going to be that big longer one we thought that one went up through the frame it doesn't it's the one that goes to the motor right here so we're just going to unplug that Ugh, like that and then down here it's in it's in a little holder just bring it out of the holder be careful not to damage your cable and then there is a small zip tie you can see it right here we're gonna have to cut that zip tie off to release it from the rest of the wires and then we could switch those out let me get us something to cut that all right we got that zip tie cut off and now we're just gonna pull it up out of the, the hole in the bottom there's our old one with our new one we're just gonna put this down through the frame or the box the same thing we did we're gonna put this back into the holder after we plug it in that way we know the length it's the same thing on this you're gonna have your arrows you just want to line the arrows up and this one goes to the motor so it is a it is a tighter fit there there we go we got it now we're just gonna make sure this is tight along this frame and get it right there like that and that's it this is all hooked up now now we're going to try to get all those wires back into the into there you'll see a couple extra ones that weren't used these are going to be used when they program them and stuff like that that's what those are for so we don't need those now all we got to do is get all this stuff somehow snake back up in here like i said the boxes aren't very big for all that you're trying to shove in there and then you always got to worry that something else is going to get unplugged or something so let's try to get that up in there i think that's going to do it for us then we just put our cover back on we're going to put our screws back in there now remember if you're using a small impact like we are go slow with it have some finger control because it is plastic we don't want to break it just like that then we're going to do that with the other two then we're going to bring it down off this table put the battery in and give it a test run this is a pretty easy job most of the stuff you got to replace on here i'm I, I say the hardest thing to change would be your hub motor Back here, if you had to change this, trying to get that center. So most of the time, they'll send you the rim with it all in there, which makes it easy. You just switch it over. But trying to get that in there, if you didn't have that, that's crazy. But there we go. We got that all tidied up. Now we're going to bring the bike down, put the battery in, and turn on the display and make sure everything still works. Swing. Now we're going to put the battery back in. Easy to slide down in there. Make sure it's seated down all the way. Put your handle down. It is in and ready to go. So now the true test of this is we're going to get our, we're going to turn our key and then we're going to put up here on the display and make sure the display turns on. We're going to test the throttle, make sure the wheel's still turning and everything's working like it's supposed to because we did just change the brain of the bike. So let's do that right now. All right, first thing we're doing, we're going to turn this key to the on position. Next, we're going to be hitting this uh, power button. We have power. I notice this is in kilometers an hour. Um, in the books, when you get these, it doesn't have how to change that, but I do have the book. I'll leave a link to it down below for you guys. You can get it to, on our website and it'll teach you how to put that to miles per hour. But right now, everything seems to be working. Let me test our throttle. We got one power assist on here. We'll go up to another. Lift this up, see if the throttle's working. We have bike it is working but i am noticing like with this it's like it's reading wrong it's reading the wrong stuff but we'll go in that book and change all that to read miles per hour and hopefully that'll read right after that but uh there you go the guys that is a easy thing to change like i said most things on here are easy to change except for that hub motor but that's not usually your problem most of the time it's usually a connection or one of those things so we have 
The horn's working, so that's another test. So we have everything working and this bike is ready to go. All right, we are ready to ride, guys. Hope you guys found this video informative for you if you have to change something like that out so you're not afraid to try it. It is a pretty easy process. And, and if you did have a problem with this, Nocto's pretty good with it. They will send you the parts to, to put it in. Uh, or you could take it somewhere if you want, but as easy as it is, it's definitely something you should try yourself, get more, more familiar with your bike. Um, but if you guys have any other questions with these, if you have experience with these or some issues, get with us. We'll see if we can find the answer for you or we can contact them if you didn't get an answer from them. Um, we'll get an answer for you. But overall, pretty nice bike. It folds, which makes it more compact for a lot of people. Fits in the trunk of your car, back of your SUV. So it's a pretty useful bike. So we're getting ready to go for another ride. And stay tuned for those videos. We'll have you a couple videos out of, you know, hopefully getting that first ride in since we've done the uh, other repairs that you've seen. Our first video didn't go too well with that because we had that one issue, but we are back in business. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button that bell notification so you know that next time we hit a video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up appreciate that and until next time guys thanks for watching try something new